Now we'll take a look at two examples of determining the derivatives of hyperbolic functions that require the chain rule. We first want to find the derivative of f of x equals hyperbolic tangent two x. So again, the first step is to recognize is that we have a composite function where the inner function is equal to two x. So we'll have to apply the chain rule in order to find this derivative. If we take a look at our derivative formulas, here's the one involving the hyperbolic tangent function. And notice how this derivative formula already includes a chain rule where u is equal to the inner function and therefore the derivative with respect to x is a product where the first factor is the derivative of the outer function and the second factor u prime is the derivative of the inner function. So again, looking at our function, if it's helpful, we can let u equal two x and think of this as hyperbolic tangent u. Again, where u is equal to two x and therefore u prime would be equal to two. So f prime of x can be equal to hyperbolic secant squared u times u prime or hyperbolic secant squared two x times two. Again, this first factor is the derivative of the outer function and the second factor two is the derivative of the inner function. So let's go ahead and rewrite this as f prime of x equals two hyperbolic secant squared two x. Let's go and take a look at our second example. Here we want to find the derivative of f of x equals hyperbolic cosine to the fifth of x. For this example, it'll probably be helpful if we write this in the form of f of x equals, and then in parentheses, hyperbolic cosine x raised to the fifth power. Again, notice how we have a composite function but now the hyperbolic function is the inner function and the power function is the outer function. So to find this derivative, we'll have to apply the general power rule here that includes the chain rule, where again, u is the inner function. So the derivative of u to the n with respect to x is equal to n times u to the n minus one times u prime, where again, we have the derivative of the outer function times the derivative of the inner function. So u is equal to the hyperbolic cosine of x, which means u prime would be equal to hyperbolic sine of x. So now to find the derivative, f prime of x, if it's helpful, we can think of this as u to the fifth. So our derivative, f prime of x, is equal to the derivative of u to the fifth with respect to x, which would be five times u to the fourth, where u is equal to hyperbolic cosine x, times u prime, which is equal to hyperbolic sine of x. So again, we applied the chain rule here. This is the derivative of the outer function, and this is the derivative of the inner function. Let's go ahead and rewrite this as f prime of x equals five times hyperbolic cosine to the fourth x times hyperbolic sine x. I hope you found these two examples helpful.